Hi, my name is Dr. Doi Katessa. I'm the Associate Residency Program Director in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at University of Maryland. I think I have somewhat of a unique perspective having done all my medical training here at University of Maryland. It is my experience during medical school and residency training that has caused me to want to stay here at University of Maryland to continue my training and teaching, as well as shaped how I, who I am as a physician. The challenging and complex obstetric and gynecologic cases here at University of Maryland will prepare you to take care of patients anywhere. Being a referral center for providers throughout the state, here at University of Maryland, you will have a breadth of experience and exposure to clinical and surgical cases. I was a global health fellow and traveled to Rwanda and lived in Rwanda the first year after residency and continue to travel there two to three times a year to teach medical students and residents. In that first year, I was challenged clinically and surgically, and it was my training here at University of Maryland that prepared me and equipped me to handle complex surgical and complex cases. There's a strong commitment to education in the Department of OBGYN here at University of Maryland, both in clinical education and dedicated didactics. Feedback from faculty and residents is sought out in adapting to the curriculum to the needs of our residents. Lastly, we are committed to providing care to the women of Baltimore City and the state of Maryland. Having lived in Baltimore now for 14 years, it has come to feel like home. Baltimore is a unique and special city but it also has a complicated history when it comes to race and structural racism, and more specifically with regard, with regard to the health and care of black women. University of Maryland has a long-standing history and presence within the city, and a commitment to providing care to the patients. And we are committed to working towards continuing to build a trusting relationship with our patients and their families, which in turn will lead to improved healthcare outcomes for our patients.